thank you for tuning in to Lindsay's Latest. I am Lindsay Albanese, and today we are talking about how to wear white, or actually a few rules I wanna share with you guys about wearing white. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you, oh, everyone can wear white, it's just how you wear it, because the reality is, you guys, is not everyone can wear white. Like, let's be honest here. I wanna kinda give you a few rules and a few guidelines on how to wear white if you may be a little scared or just wanna try and pull it off in the best way that you can. Rule number one is, actually, I wanna talk about the one wearing white rule that I just want to to be extinct. It is that old 50s prehistoric rule that you can't wear white after Labor Day. That is ridiculous. I mean, white year round creates a statement. It's fresh and crisp. And why would you want to abandon that half of the year? Once and for all, tell your mamas, tell your grandmas, tell your family, tell everybody that that is BS. Cheers and here's to wearing white year round. So that is the first rule. Another key to wearing white is choosing pieces that have structure in them. What is structure? Well, button up blouses, blazers, skinny jeans, dresses in thicker fabric or dresses with structure that kind of are a little, maybe have a stronger waistband or like I said, have a thicker fabric. For instance, what I'm currently wearing, this has structure. You can see we have the lapel. It's a thicker weight fabric. So that way you're not gonna see any lumps or bumps because that's the reality of wearing white. It doesn't camouflage really anything, so you have to be careful. When I got married, my white dress was so slinky, I swear you could probably see a freckle on my ass. I'm telling you, I get it. So stick to good fabrics, thicker in weight, and you know, Oh, and the underwear test, check your butt. I have actually done this before when I'm getting ready in a flash and I'm racing out the door and I'm wearing white pants or a white dress and oh yeah, I have pink underwear on and I only noticed when I went to the bathroom. Um, check your butt in the mirror or check, just do, a, do an underwear check because you don't wanna be me. <laughs> And I'm the style expert, oh yeah. Another thing to kind of keep white very chic and interesting is you don't have to match an all white outfit. You really don't. Because what a pain in the butt to try and match your shirt and your blazer and your pants or your skirt all together in the same fabric in that same crisp white color. It's just too much work and not worth it. If your whole outfit is the same shade and fabric of white, you kind of look like you're wearing a uniform like you're a captain or a sailor or something. Mixing the shades and the fabrics creates more interest and it's just a little bit more effortless and not so stiff and assertive. So those are my rules to wearing white, you guys. I mean, I love it. I think you should try it. I hope this helps you out. And actually, just an outfit off the top of my head, if you guys wanna experiment at home, try white skinny jeans or white shorts and a white blouse and then throw a blazer over it because blazers elongate because they kind of pull you in and they create those narrow lines right here making you look skinnier. Try that at home. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Lindsay Albanese. I am always wearing white and black. I think I gotta switch it up a little bit because for whatever reason I'm just very drawn to the, the juxtaposition of the strong black and the crisp white. So make sure you follow me and leave me your comments below. Have I inspired you to wear an all white outfit? Let me know. I want to hear from you. Thank you so much guys and I will see you next week. Bye.